what is up people how is it going back again with another video and in this video i am going to show you how you can add this menu button and whenever a user is going to press this button a scientific menu list is going to pop up and whenever uh, you are going to press this button then you are getting these buttons okay so guys let's get started okay first of all i'm going to add uh, some button okay so for that i need to expand the rows uh, i need to expand the number of rows so for that i need to have a menu button here okay uh, in this menu button whenever the user is going to press this menu button a function called scientific will be appear right here okay so uh, in this right action items i'm going to give a comma and then i'm going to copy this list and paste it here and then i'm going to change the icon i will call the dots vertical icon okay now let me save this okay here i got the dot vertical icon but i need to i need to change the function okay uh, whenever the user is going to press the press this button a drop down menu is going to open up okay so for that i'm going to create a function called drop down okay so the function will be let's say i want to add this function here define uh, let me zoom in so that the text should be more clear and visible okay here i'm going to call this function as drop down okay let me pass the self argument and i'm going to pass an instance okay i will explain it later okay so don't get panic about it now i'm going to create a variable called self dot menu list uh, this will be the list of the menu uh, whenever this menu button is going to be pressed okay so it is going to be a list and in this list i'm going to add a dictionary okay so i'm going to create a attribute view class uh, just do exactly what i'm doing after that uh, i'm going to explain it okay so view class why uh, what kind of class you are going to uh, you want to view your um, menu item okay so i'm going to view it as one line one line list item okay you can use one line avatar icon list item whatever you want or if you want to have a more clear understanding about every drop down menu i have already created a video about it just simply go to the description you will find find it what is it okay now i'm going to add another attribute called text okay this text is going to be the item uh, items name okay the menu items name let's say scientific okay and again i'm going to add a comma and then i'm going to call the on release attribute okay these uh, attributes are built in okay i'm going to bind this menu list with md drop down menu class okay uh, i will explain it later um, on release so on release it i'm going to add a lambda function okay so x equal then i'm going to call this name okay and this name is going to this name is going to call a function called self dot psi but i didn't create any kind of function call self dot psi let me create this function self uh, sorry is my bad 
let me pass this i will add function later okay now this list is just created okay now our list item is done now let me save this and now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to call a variable or i'm going to create a variable called selves.menu and this menu or this variable is going to inherit sorry this menu is going to be a widget and this widget will be md drop down menu okay from kvmd.uix.menu import md drop down menu okay so this menu is going to be md drop down menu and then i'm going to expand this let me set the items here you can add the add this item manually here but uh, this will be look more hazy so i want to um, i want my code neat and clean so i just created a variable for the for the item okay now i'm going to call this menu list variable okay so self dot menu list okay and then i'm going to set the white okay uh, the white malt will be for i think this is the standard uh, as i followed the documentation of kvmd after that i'm going to uh, i'm going to set the color okay self dot menu dot color so what uh, which button is going to call this menu okay this menu is going to uh, be called by this button okay uh, this button okay so uh, i need to pass a parameter here oh, sorry guys i need to pass some code here uh, i will explain it uh, just simply do what i am doing uh, self dot color equal button okay Who, what actually this button is this button is here uh, here this button okay so uh, what i just pa uh, passed here for, as an argument button this button is an instance of this function i will uh, change this code uh, soon but just follow what i am doing self dot menu dot color equal button after that i am going to say self dot menu dot open open okay and here i am going to call root dot drop down function okay this drop down function here and i'm going to pass an argument let's say x and these these x refers this instance okay so that means whenever this button is pressed that means this uh, button is pressed this menu button uh, this menu is going to call this button this button is going to call this menu okay and it is going to open whenever this button is pressed now i'm going to check it if it is working or not let me press press here okay here we got a scientific button but if i press nothing happens so i'm going to add function uh, i'm going to add some code in this sci function okay let me check if it is working or not by set a hello world message if i save this and okay here we find this hello world message okay now let me remove this okay now i'm going to add some scientific button let's say sci button equal this will be list i'm going to copy and paste some list item okay okay and then i'm going to set um i'm going to access this grid layout 
this grid layout actually grid button and then i'm going to expand the row okay i'm going to expand the row so uh, and also i'm going to expand the column so for that self dot grid buttons dot calls equal five and self dot grid buttons dot rows equal six and then for button in side button button call let's say md flat button text will be each button as i explained in my earlier video size hint will be one and one and it will be in tuple okay let me add a comma and then i'm going to set the background color mdbg color equal i'm going to copy and paste some color code after that i'm going to set the font size okay font size will be 25 dp as like the earlier buttons after that i'm going to set the theme text color custom and then i'm going to set the text color text color will be let's say one 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 and point five okay now i'm going to add this button uh, before i add this button i need to bind a function buttons that bind whenever a user going to release this button self dot text input is going to call okay and then i'm going to add this button to this grid layout add widget buttons okay now i'm i'm going to save this okay i just saved it now if i click this scientific button so uh, you can see we just got this button here okay so guys that's for today's video i hope you like this video and in my next video i'm going to show you how to calculate using this button okay so guys that's for today's video keep watching goodbye